finally out again this year the spring and summer is the worst that I can remember since my last ride uh, two weeks ago we had again a bunch of rain and uh, even last couple days some areas of the province uh, we even got snow so like Brack Creek and some snow in Elkwood in Kananaskis country and a couple areas uh, around uh, the city had a little bit of snow uh, nothing that stayed on the, on the ground but the snow is here so this video is being recorded on uh, 21st of June today the, again we have a little bit of a break uh, I got a little bit of time so it's time to head out and uh, go for a short ride I'm going towards Livingston probably not all the way to Livingston uh, in uh, of highway uh, 40 there last time I went to Viperus and uh, I was telling you all those great things <laughs> about making video about the broken subframe on my Africa twin as I was riding in uh, White Rim Trail my uh, camel brace let go again it broke last year on Idaho BDR but now it broke again on White Rim Trail in Utah and as I was riding I, ju I was just editing, the, editing that video not that long ago I said hopefully I won't break the subframe guess what happened I broke the bloody subframe in few different spots because uh, riding on all these rocks all the vibration it made it happen so it was broken and it took me over a week to get it all taken apart weld it up reinforce it good friend Robert that was with us in Utah uh, he welded up for me everything because my welder is still at my friend's uh, he borrowed it a couple years ago never returned it I can't uh, I gotta push him to bring it back we got it all nicely reinforced uh, with all the brackets and everything and I did say that I'm not gonna do too much off-road because that bike is simply not designed for hardcore off-road a little bit of off-road is okay for it but as soon as you go on a like a really more difficult terrain so stuff starts to fall apart so that's the story and uh, now what I'm getting to it all the video footage that I captured over the couple days that I was working on it it's lost I thought that I downloaded it to the computer I didn't I was under impression usually after each video I finish filming I download and uh, this way I have a peace of mind that it's in the computer not that one that one I simply went for another ride and uh, before I went for a ride I formatted the card with a couple days worth of footage that uh, I wanted to show you guys how I fixed that uh, subframe how I welded up painted disassemble reassemble the motorcycle all that footage uh, that was like over a week of time it's gone permanently gone I can't believe it I did that before with the, not that important of a video but I thought that this one is uh, it should have been uh, helpful to many of you how to fix that subframe it is what it is I had to live with it I couldn't believe it I searched all over every, every folder but then I realized no like I came home from the garage quite late it was like close to 12 o'clock I think if not after 12 and uh, I put the camera on the desk never downloaded the footage can't believe that what a yo-yo but <laughs> live and learn from now on I'm getting on back to my return even if it's a day war of footage not necessarily the whole video I will be downloading it immediately to my computer without postponing the download until the video is finished and so I can forget that because that really is a bummer not much 
I can do at this point. I don't know how far I will go into that, uh, I think it's uh, Highway 532 if I'm correct. Because as I said earlier, there was a nice amount of rain and I don't want to play in the mud and dirt today. Uh, if this is uh, too muddy, uh, I will turn around and go home. So today the weather is quite beautiful. It's a little bit overcast, uh, well I shouldn't say overcast, it's a little bit of clouds but at the same time the visibility of the mountains is uh, quite spectacular. Depends if it's windy or not and I'm not sure, I took my drone, I never checked the battery, I wasn't planning that ride really today. To I never try checked if the batteries were fully charged or, or how much charge do they have. If they have enough charge, I might take the drone for a spin and uh, then I'll turn around and start heading back home after that. So at least the only good thing about the uh, rain that everything is nice and green. Uh, the temperature right now it's uh, 16. I think it's gonna go into 20 degrees uh, maximum today. So perfect day to do anything outside. Not much wind what I can see so far. Hopefully it stays that way because uh, that's another thing. It was quite windy for the last uh, few days. Kilometers. I've got another 11 kilometers to Highway 532. Shouldn't be much longer until I end up on that gravel. Everything looks so nicely and green at this time of the year. And uh, as September comes, everything is going to be all brown and ugly. Uh, because the sun most likely is gonna kill it all but maybe this year it's gonna be different as well maybe we will not have such a uh, too much heat in the summer I'm good about 25 degrees I'm happy anything higher not interested it's uh, good weather to do most of the activities and everything Towards Indian graves. Let's see how much of a washboard it is. Chain lakes up ahead. On my left. I was camping here a couple. I think last year we were camping here, beginning of the year, at Indian Graves Campground. Not much to do, but it's a nice, quiet spot. the Livingstone public land area begins uh, just uh, just began like a couple seconds ago I just passed by the sign so I'm assuming if I can get a tag for this section and come hunting that would be awesome I'm not sure at what point do they close that road because I know they close the road here for the winter I wonder if it's right at the entrance or it's somewhere further down here because uh, if they close the road obviously you can't get here too far during the winter and what month so I have to note that on the way back if I will find the sign um, maybe there was a sign I just missed it this time who knows come on son of course as you enter 
closer to your destination as any other ride the sun is hiding behind the clouds and we got a nice and gray cloud in front of me hey washboard bloody washboard that never fails well, there's people here probably riding horses horseback riding And that's where the Indian graves turn out is. We'll go past that point. How close will I get to the snow? Johnson's Creek. Tons of little black flies, but I didn't get any bites. But uh, I was swarmed by them when I was uh, flying them my drone. And we're pretty close to the top now. And uh, <laughs> it looks like there's still snow. It's gonna be here for a while. I'll get to, uh, to that little lake area. actually 16 degrees even though it's uh, overcast a bit ah, yeah, 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 left side away from that potholes
Yeah, there's snow right here, it's a fresh one. So probably that's from a couple of days ago. Because that is a lower elevation and it was hot enough for that stuff to be melted already. But there was that new little dump of snow. Ears just popped. Good. Because they were plugged. Getting into higher elevation. You can always feel that a little bit in your ears. There was some construction last year here. I wonder if that's finished. I think it is because. Uh, that barrier that's new, I don't think it was here before, I don't recall it at least. That's the little lake. No ice. But I think it's a little bit of gelled up. That water looks weird. A uh, little chipmunk. My daughter loves those things. Oh wow, there's no so much of it still here. And that's as far as I want to go. I don't want to go much further. I'm going to turn around here at the bottom. Not a single animal today. It kind of sucks. Oh, there's so many chipmunks here. That's one of them on the way in. Now another one. All right, guys, check out the view from up here. This is just unbelievable. And it's only an hour and a half from home. And it's gorgeous. It's nice clean clean sky this way. Uh, and on the other way, on, uh, behind me, all cloudy. So that makes it very, very beautiful. I'm almost tempted to take another photo here. Alright, couple photos at the top and and now it's time to head back down. It's not cold, it's 16 degrees, even though that snow is here on the side, making a beautiful effect on the photos. And yeah, it is 20th of June. So here the snow is almost disappearing, just a little bit here and there, but the views here are 
as I said earlier and many times this is like uh, painting and uh, in such a short distance because this is literally like uh, I don't know 15 minutes maybe from the main road 20 minutes so there is my road heading down there gotta get down into that valley Check out how steep that mountain is. Whoa, that wind here is coming to the left side. You gotta close it up because that's gonna be noisy. Oh, Chipmunk almost, almost got killed. He came out of the hole in the middle of the road. What a little stupid guy. Alright guys, this ride is getting close to an end. If you like that video, don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment down below. That's always really appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ride safe out there and see you next time. Cheers.